what I was expecting when I bought this game, but at this point I most certainly stand pleasantly surprised. Now, don't get me wrong, the game is terrible in several ways, most of which stem from it being a console port, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. It's all kinds of fun. Any game where pedestrians stop and clap for your character is a winner in my book. Spider-Man's the best thing to happen to this city in years! Wait, is that a guy or... What? Just to get all the negatives out of the way, the optimization on PC is laughable. There's no way you'll get a constant 60 FPS even with a monster machine, and you can't remap buttons. Like, if you click the controls option, you literally land at a picture of an Xbox controller. Not even joking. So if you can get over hardware issues, it's a blast. Now when it comes to difficulty, the first rule of difficulties is there are no difficulties. Picture it this way. If this game was a pinata, choosing human difficulty would give you a samurai sword, and choosing superhero would give you a base Baseball bat. It's not like one is more challenging than the other, but the samurai sword is certainly less tedious. I'm gonna spoil all kinds of plot points, by the way, so if that angers you, then you should have read the comic books, nerd. Of course, Spider Man, also known as Peter Parker's Uncle Ben, dies and he has flashbacks anytime he buys rice at the grocery store. But really, the first thing that you run into is your suit selection. Now, believe me, this is where the fun begins because you have a real diversity in your selection and I even bought the DLC skins for like $5, because why the hell not? I'm not poor. Of course, you've got casual babby default, which is nice, but not optimal. Although the next one is technically a cross between Iron Man and Spider-Man, we all know it either looks like an alien or maybe... I don't know what it is about the cosmic suit, but the facial expression immediately reminds me of Morbo from Futurama. Windmills do not walk that way! Good night! It's just something about the silver into the blue that makes this look the greatest in combat among all the suits, especially after crushing some bad guys. All humans are vermin in the eyes of Morbo. No, no, just because you're wearing black doesn't mean that you get to- <laughs> God damn it. Why? The Spider-Man Noir is really great if you don't want to look at all like Spider-Man. Electro-proof is essentially, they told me I could become anything, so I became a padded, comfy dorm room chair, and Ends of the Earth is something straight out of Tribes, though I bet none of you even know what that game is. Oh, oh just fine. Wait, what? What? What in God's name is that? How high was Peter Parker when he threw this on? Seriously. Movement around the city is pretty basic. You can either do the usual swinging technique or violently pull yourself to certain locations by spamming E or even, you know, use the good old slingshot if you're so inclined. Once you arrive at your destination, you can punch people in the face, spam webbing at them, spit some kind of other weird dark spider goo, or even blow them back with a seismic blast. The whole event of combat is figuratively pulling yourself over to someone, spamming left click until your spidey senses trigger above your head, dodging whatever danger was incoming, and continuing to crush people. Believe me, it's super easy. Everybody was kung fu fighting! Now you'll notice that sometimes during the fighting sequences you'll hit someone too hard or at the wrong angle and they'll glitch out. Like some dudes you hit so hard they go sky high for some reason. I even had a boss that you're supposed to dodge when he charges at you and then proceed to beat him like a rented mule while he's stuck, but this clown was so fat he got stuck in the middle of the map. Like what kind of circus is this? In fact, all the boss fights are composed of copious amounts of punching, but they are still extremely fun. Show, 
And just so you know, you will have no problem with direction whatsoever. The game always tells you exactly what to do, or at least makes it painfully obvious. Like most of the time, you'll get to a crime scene and it will literally say verbatim, defeat the bad guys. Some of the missions are certainly more creative than others, like most of the time you'll just be going all Jackie Chan on a horde of enemies, but hey, sometimes you get to toss nukes into the Hudson. Tactical nuke incoming! But still, my favorite part of the whole game are the characters and how Spider-Man treats them. He's at least somewhat courteous with all his enthusiastic dialogue. I'm always awesome. Sometimes I'm extra awesome. But with the worst enemies like Kingpin, he can lose his cool. Haley Bugle has branded a menace. Shut the fuck up, fat man. This ain't none of your goddamn business. The only cool thing about Craven is his massive penthouse filled with dead animals. Like, do you really need a fourth rhino? Is three not enough? This is a lovely room of death. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Interaction with the collective characters, known as pedestrians, is hilarious because they can turn from your biggest fan into your worst enemy if you just accidentally nudge them. Even if you try to reconcile with a courteous apology. Spidey, Spidey! You're here! I'm your biggest fan! What's your problem? Hey, how you doing, love mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something. But the character that's highlighted the most is Felicia the Black Cat. Like, her whole section of the game has the longest loading screens by far. Gee, I wonder why. She's incredibly easy to beat, and long story short, she wants your spider D. Just so you know, this pivotal cutscene will either be boring or hilarious, depending on the suit that you're wearing. Like, if you're wearing the tribe suit, it's not that weird. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. Ah, that's too bad. But if you're like me, and amuse yourself with petty gimmicks that make things unnecessarily awkward, wear the carnage suit. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. You serious? She's not the only one that wants your webbing, by the way. There happens to be this reporter named Whitney Chang that is the personification of, and you know I hate these three words, Notice Me Senpai. That's basically what she is. She sends you like 25 texts without a single reply from you and literally reports on every single good deed that you do in the city with her giant microphone, yet you outright ignore her. <laughs> But this game is rated T for Teen, so you obviously won't be bursting your spider web on anybody but the bad guys. However, you can certainly turn off the heat by using the Ricochet skin. That's pretty damn provocative. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, I was lying to you this entire time. My favorite skin is the old one from the original Spider-Man in 2002 that I saw when I was 10 years old that I will forever cherish in my heart. Pizza time. Gotcha. Welcome to my rocky show. Welcome to the fire of the night.